Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw the scene from the new Godzilla vs. Kong movie where Mechagodzilla has Godzilla kind of trapped and he's going to try and attempt to use his atomic blast on him when he's holding his mouth open. So I hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now, to start off with our drawing, we're going to begin with Mecha Godzilla. So, we're going to start with his face. I'm going to begin right up here, and I'm going to draw a line. It's just going to come down like this. And then I'm going to come back here. Next, we're going to go up. We're going to come back here. And we're going to come down. Starting right here, I want to make a line that's going to go down. It's going to come up for the eye. I'm going to make another little line that comes up. And we're going to make a line that comes back here. Now starting here, we're going to draw a line that's going to go down. And it's going to come over. Then it's going to come up at an angle. Starting here, we're just going to connect a little line. Right up here, we're going to make a line that goes up and a little line that comes down. I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down here. We're going to go down to there. And then we're going to come over. Right here, we're going to draw a line that's going to go down, over, up, and then over for one of the teeth. We're going to come over here just a little bit. I'll draw another kind of rectangle shape and put another one right here next to it. We're going to draw a little line that connects to here. And we're going to make a little line that comes down. Right here, we'll make a line that goes down. It's going to come straight down and then connect into here. Starting here, we're going to draw a line that comes back, and we're going to go straight back like this. I'm going to go up, and we'll bring it to here. Make a line that's going to come back. We're going to go up and then bring it over to here. We'll make a line that comes up and over, and another one up and over here. Starting here, we're gonna make a line that goes over, we're gonna come down, we're gonna go over, up, and then come to here. Right here, I'm going to make a line that goes down. We're going to come in and then out. We're going to go down and go over and then connect to here. Starting here, I want to make a line that's going to come down. We're going to go down again and then up. Right here, we're going to make a line that comes over. We'll make a rectangle shape right here. We'll space, we'll make another rectangle shape right here. Right here, we're going to make a line that's going to go over. It's going to come like this. We're going to go over and then bring it back up here by that rectangle. Make a little line that goes over down and then comes back up. Make another little line that goes over and then up here. Little line's going to come down. It's going to go over. And then we will bring this up to here. Right 
Now starting here, I'm gonna draw a line that's gonna go out. We're gonna come down. We're gonna go in. We're gonna go down. We're gonna come in and then right to here, kind of form part of that neck. Make another one that goes over. We're gonna come down, go in, out, come down, and then we'll bring it right to about there. I'm gonna draw a line that's gonna come down, and then we'll make a line that goes up. We'll make kind of like a long rectangle shape right here. Make another low line that comes down, and we'll draw another line that goes down, comes down, and then over. Right here, we'll make another one of these plates. We'll go over and come down. We'll go in and out. We're gonna come down and then connect it to here. We'll draw a line that comes to here, the line over here. We're just gonna bring these all the way to the edge. Right up here, I'm gonna make a line that's gonna go up. It's gonna go over and then come down. I'm also gonna make a line that's gonna go up. It's gonna go over and then down at an angle. I'm gonna make a little line that's gonna come through here. I'm gonna put a couple little kind of skinny rectangle shapes right here for some details. Now, starting right here, this is going to be a little tricky. This is where we're going to want to put Godzilla in here. So, but we have to kind of add Mecha Godzilla's hands in here first. So, I'm going to start right here, and we're going to begin by making kind of like a rectangle shape here for part of his finger. The like line's going to go up, it's going to come down, up, and back here. Then starting here, we're going to draw a line that's going to go down, it's going to go over, up, and then come back. And right here, we're going to make a line that's going to go down, it's going to come down farther, it's going to go over, and then come back up here. Right here, we're going to make a line that's going to go over, it's going to come down, and then come back to here with a little bump right here. Over here, we're just gonna add a half circle shape with another half circle shape here. Make a line that's gonna go up, it's gonna come down and then connect to here. Two little lines over with a little line that connects. Starting here, we're going to make two lines that come up, and then one that comes down. We'll draw a line over, and we'll go down, and a line over and up. Put a little square shape in here. Make a line that goes up and over, we'll make one that goes down and over. Make two lines across here. And then one's going to go up and down, and then it's going to come over. One will go up, down, and up, and then over. Now, starting here, we're going to kind of add Godzilla's mouth. So this one's going to be a little bit tricky just because kind of the way we have to add it. So I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to draw a line that's going to go up, and it's going to curve to here. Then I'm going to start by drawing a line that's going to come up to here. Then I'm going to draw a line that's going to go up here. I'm going to go out just a little bit and we're going to come back. Then 
Next, I'm going to draw a line that comes over here. Then we're going to draw a line that's going to go up. Then it's going to come right down to here. Then when I get to here, I'm going to bring this line over and then a line down here. Starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down. And then another line that's going to go down here. And then we're going to come down to here. Right here, I'm just going to add a little line that goes up. And then we're going to add a line that comes down here for part of the mouth. Then I want to add some of Godzilla's teeth, so I'm going to add some different size teeth in here. We'll add some sharp teeth at the bottom, just make some of them different sizes. Starting here, we're going to make lines going to come up to here. And then a line that's just going to go down and then up. Right here, we're going to make a line that's going to go out, and then it's going to come back down. And then I'm just going to add a few little curved lines kind of right underneath Godzilla's eyes. Or his one eye. We'll add a couple more little lines here. I'm just going to add a few kind of little broken lines over here. Now over here, I'm going to add another little line that's going to go up, over, and down. I'm going to put one right here. Just kind of show where Mechagodzilla's other claws are. I'm going to make another line that's going to go over. It's going to come down and over here. And we're going to make two lines that are going to go over to here. Then starting here, we're going to make a line that's going to go down, it's going to go over, and then it's going to come up. And then we're going to add another line that's going to go down and over, one here. Then I'm going to start over here real quick. I'm going to make a line that's going to go down. I'm going to curve it around. We're going to come up like this. I'm going to make another one, kind of like a square shape. We're going to add a couple little lines in here to kind of show where the other side of his body is. Make another little line down, kind of make another one of those shapes, and a line that comes down here. Make a line that's going to come down, and then over. And then we'll just add some lines over here just to kind of connect it, show where that other arm is. Okay, so here's our basic shape of Mechagodzilla trying to blast Godzilla. We have our basic shape down. Oh, now let's come in here and add some quick different details. So I'm going to go a little bit faster through this part. So I'm just going to add some broken lines up here. Just some quick little lines over here just to give them a little bit of texture. I'm going to add some of these lines up here too just for a little bit of dimension. I'm going to add just some little rectangle shapes over here. I'm going to add some little lines coming down here. And maybe a few more little rectangle shapes around there. I'm going to add some little lines onto the teeth for some detail. And a couple more little lines back here by the eye. I'm going to add a little line that goes down and over. And maybe another little line right there. I'm going to add a little oval shape here with a little line in it. 
and then some more little lines kind of right around here. Maybe add a few more extra little lines in here, just for some detail. You can add some little lines kind of all over the place just to kind of make it look a little bit more interesting. Maybe add some little rectangle shapes over here. I'm going to add a little line that comes up and then down and then over here for some detail. And a couple little extra lines. Over here we're going to add just another little circle shape and then maybe a few little small circles in here to kind of show where some screws are. Add some little more rectangular geometric shapes in here. On this side of the arm we're not going to add a ton of detail but we might just add a couple little lines for some extra details and a few extra shapes in there. Now over here on Godzilla, we're just going to add maybe like a little broken line right here and here just to kind of show where his lips are. We're going to add another little extra line right here for some details. I'm going to add a little curved line right there and a line right here. I'm just going to color in most of this kind of for his pupil. I'm going to add an extra little line or two right up here. And then we'll add just a couple little detail lines on here. Some more little broken lines over here. And just a few kind of extra little lines kind of right around his face. Add a little broken line over here. I'm going to add just a couple little extra lines. We'll add some quick little lines on the mouth. And we'll add just a few kind of little scale pattern shapes here. A couple little lines by his nose. And maybe a few more just really close to the neck. And then you can just kind of add some extra little lines wherever you want to. And there you go, there is your drawing of Mecha Godzilla about ready to blast Godzilla. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.